Hi everyone, let's start. There is a one of the important phenomena that is homosodasticity. First of all, we will understand what do you mean by homosodasticity? So basically homosodasticity is an assumption in regression analysis and homosodasticity, it refers to error term in or residual are equally distributed. Whether all these error terms are residuals, those are equally distributed or they are at one place or clustered at a one place. When they are equally distributed, then we are calling it homosteroticity. And if they are not equally distributed or we can call it, these are clustered at the same value. So that is known as heterosodasticity. So in this video, we are going to cover up only homosodasticity. And uh, let me share with you one example, uh, how we have to check homosodasticity. Uh, a student wants to test a hypothesis regarding the relationship between size and age of a firm and its performance in a particular industry. Size was measured by the number of employees working in the firm, age in terms of number of years it is operating and performance was measured by return on equity. So we have gathered a sample of 50 firms, those we have selected randomly. So you can see here, uh, firms, total number of uh, firms are 50. And this is the first, second column shows performance, then size. Size means, I mean, how many employees are uh, working in that particular firm. So on the basis of we are measuring size and age means how old this is the industry or this firm. So this is the 50 uh, total firms. So let me show you my SPSS file. This is my SPSS file where I've taken firm ID, performance, size, and age. And that is something else I will discuss uh, later on. This one is the H2. So first of all, performance, size, and age. Let me check performance is my dependent variable and uh, size is my independent variable and age is also my independent variable. So we can say performance depends on size and age. So if we talk about, let me, I'm just taking a linear regression only one is dependent variable and size is only independent variable. We are not considering age or age to nothing. So what we have to do, uh, first of all, we have to go to analyze, regression, then linear. And after this linear, I'm just transferring this performance to dependent variable and size into independent variable. And after that, what I want plots also. So let me, okay, this one is the Z pred predicted variable that would be here, that is standardized and residuals would be at the Y axis. And let me continue this and let me press okay. So now you can see here, that is a 0 0.01 significance and you can see scattered plot. And scattered plot, that is uh, normally, this one is the dependent variable performance and regression standardized predicted value and dependent variable performance. So these are some values are at the um, one particular place, but some val values are far away, far away to this place. So we can call it not homosodasticity, we can call it heterosodasticity. So I'm sure, uh, and what we have to do, let me, we can check this thing and uh, we can apply this thing. Now you can see here, these are, uh, this one is the uh, not equally distributed, right? So that is the heterosodasticity. I'm sure this video would be helpful to you. And next video, we will discuss something more. 